Hey, my name is Matt Storr, and I repair saxophones for a living. A while ago, uh, upon request, I put up a video showing straightening a rod, um, and I showed the way that most people are taught to do it, which is using a bench motor. I figured, um, since that video has actually seemed to become somewhat popular among my videos, uh, you can go back and see it. I think it's called, you know, Repair Topic, Straightening a Rod. Um, I figured I'd show you how I actually do it in practice. Um, so I've got a micro lathe here called a Unimat with a collet chuck, which enables me to grip the rod uh, much more firmly without actually marring it. And it's a two-step process. So I've got a foot pedal, and yes, I work in socks. You can ask people who used to work with me. I'm actually somewhat notorious for that. Um, so I take my piece of wood with holes in it. You can see I'm on my third one now. Um, and so the first thing I do is, let's see, just, yep, it's got a nice little bend in it. So let's straighten that out, just like we showed you before. Okay, that's nice and straight now. Now the second part I do, um, and I will see if I can set down the camera for a sec. Switch out the collet that I've got for a smaller one. And the reason I'm doing this is because so here is the rod, right? I want to put this threaded portion in here and make sure that the threaded portion is straight relative to the rod itself. Hopefully while that's sitting there you guys can see a little bit at least. I'll bring my camera back. Okay, so now I've got the threaded portion in the collet holder, and it's pretty gentle. You don't need to tighten it very much when you do this part. And we'll see if the, yeah, and the threads are a little bit off-center. Now this one you do comparatively gently. It really doesn't need much, and you don't want to break the threaded portion off. Now that's nice and straight. So, Now we've got a rod that is beautifully straight, and the threads are even straight uh, in relation to the rod, which is important because when you screw this in, if the threaded portion is not straight relative to the rod, it will torque the rod uh, and you know cause it to flex as you uh, screw it in. And if your keys are nice and tight, or if your key work is nice and tight, which is what I get paid to do, uh, then the threaded portion being off will actually make it bind as you uh, install the key. I'm trying to get this to focus. Okay, there we go. So if you are uh, ever installing keys that uh, bind as you turn the rod the last couple turns, make sure that your threaded portion is straight uh, and also has a nice, see how that shoulder there where the threaded portion goes into the body of the rod. Um, make sure that's nice and square and make sure the threaded portion is straight relative to the uh, rod itself. Hope you found this helpful, useful, informative. My name is Matt Storr. I repair saxophones for a living. Uh, the gear I used in this, this is a, a Unimat DB200 micro lathe, um, and that is an ER16 collet chuck with uh, lots of different collets. And this is probably um, overkill unless you're uh, doing the kind of work I'm doing, but this is how I do it, so I thought I'd show you. Thanks for watching.